Hello everyone, let's discuss linear motion of an object on an inclined plane. Figure 2 shows a block of mass 5 kg slides down a frictionless inclined plane. So we have here 35 degrees. We're going to start solving our question by drawing FBD so that we can construct equations from it. The dot is representing the body and we can see that the weight is directed downwards and don't forget the label W. Next, the normal force is perpendicular to the inclined plane. So we're going to draw it like this. Don't forget the label N. And look, here in the question, it did mention that the plane is frictionless. So suppose the friction is directed up the incline. Now, no more. And lastly, for the angle 35 degrees, where should we put it in the FPD? So we're going to put it here. Now let's start. Calculate the forces parallel to the inclined plane. If the inclined plane is over here, means in the FBD, it is here. And since weight W is not on the purple axis, we're going to resolve it into Wx and later into Wy. But for now, we're just going to focus on the purple axis, okay? Summation of forces along x-axis is Wx only. And since this is a resolved quantity, we have to add in sine or cosine. But which one? Is it sine or cosine? Well, because the angle 35 degrees is not attached to Wx axis, which is the purple axis, we're just going to use sine. Now let's substitute the mass 5 kilograms, gravitational acceleration 9.81 meter per second per second, sine 35, and the answer is 28.13 newton. Question 2. Calculate the normal force acting on the block, which is N. So, summation of force along y-axis equals to, hmm, 0 or Na. Well, since the block is sliding down along the incline and not jumping up and down the incline, i.e., there's no motion along the y-axis. Hence, the Fy equals to 0 and we're colouring it as green like this. So, from the FPD, we can see that the forces along the green axis are normal and wy. Oh, this is the one that I said I'll resolve later. Yeah, this is the one. And because normal and y are in the opposite direction of each other, we're going to write n minus wy equals to 0. Move wy to the right side of the equation. And because I want to expand wy into its resolved form, I have to add in the sine or cosine. And since the angle is attached to the green axis, W get the cos 35 degrees. And then we just substitute the values and the answer is 40.18 Newton. Question number 3. Calculate the acceleration of the block down the inclined plane. Since we are dealing with the purple axis, means we are going to take the Fx value, which is 28.13 Newton. So, summation of forces along x-axis equals to ma, substitute all the values, and the acceleration of the block sliding down the incline with the no friction is 5.63 meter per second per second. And that's all. Thank you.